Hey everyone, I asked and you answered. The majority of you wanted to see the haul I did this, or a haul from the shopping I did this weekend. So I'm here to show you all the stuff that I picked up. And um, Boz, I wanted to pop in and say hi, and now he's leaving. So, I live in San Antonio, Texas, for those of you that don't know, which is about 45 minutes from San Marcos, Texas, which has, I, <coughs> excuse me, I think the world's or nation's largest outlet mall. And you'd think that since I live so close, I would go all the time, but generally I only go once a year with my family. It's sort of an annual thing. We go every Martin Luther King weekend. I don't know why. We just do. So this year we all hopped in the car and everybody made lists of what they were looking for and I'm going to show you the stuff that I bought. I will say that um, my kids got a ton of stuff, my husband got a ton of stuff. I'm not going to show you boys clothes. Um, they all wanted like new khaki shorts, new Sperry shoes, new t-shirts, you know, stuff like that. My husband wears... it's. I don't love it, but it's like his little thing. He wears dress ropers instead of dress shoes to work lately. Um, it's his thing. For those of you who are unfamiliar with a roper, they are like cowboy boots, but not. That was helpful, right? Um, I will put a link below to the boots that he gets, so you'll know. You can click on it and see what that looks like. But he loves a particular brand called Lucchese. And he, they don't have a specific Lucchese outlet store, but there is a store that carries them in the outlet mall, so he always picks up a couple pairs while he's up there. So he got those, and he hit Brooks Brothers pretty hard, and then it was my turn. So here are all the goodies that I got. This is, here's my disclaimer, this is not a brag, it just is. And if you don't like it, I have no idea why you are watching these kinds of videos. You must be some sort of masochist. Also, another housekeeping thing, I always, 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 if I can, try to list everything that I've list, mentioned, product-wise, person-wise, in the description box below, and I will always list what I'm wearing from my makeup to my clothing to accessories in the description box. So before you ask, take a peek there, because I do take quite a bit of time to write all that out for you. If there's something missing or you have any other questions, as always, feel free to ask. Okay, on to the fun stuff. So... In no particular order. Um, I went to the CCO, which is the cosmetic company outlet store, I think is what it's called, and um, I really didn't go as crazy as I thought I was. In fact, the one thing I didn't buy I wish I had bought, and a couple things I did buy, eh. But um, I picked up two single eyeshadows, and I hate, now that I have palettes, I kind of hate getting them there because they come in the container and now I have to deposit it which for me means I've forgotten how I did it, I'm gonna have to go find a video and watch how somebody else did it, and then, anyway. So I picked up Trax, it's a duochrome, and sort of a warm purple with gold um, undertones, I guess you'd say. So that's fun, I'm trying to branch out and wear colors once in a while, and I think I know purple looks good with green eyes, but I'm not, I don't like cool tones. So I'm hoping that this warm tone is something I can use. I also picked up, is it mulch? Mulch. Picked up another mulch, and I say another because you get to a point when you either own too much stuff or, and or you've made so many lists of what you want to own that you forget which is on which list, and I didn't realize I already had mulch. So. This is going home to one of you. If you would please say something in the comments about why, not why, but if you want this or not, um, put it in there and I will pick one of you and I'm gonna throw it in a little makeup bag and throw in some of the little goodies that I have because this is kind of lame, just this one thing, but I figured it might as well find a good home. Um, yeah, and I think, well, yeah, so that's what's going in there. I also picked up, you know, if you follow me on all my very social outlets, that I've been looking for a powder to powder my um, under eye concealer with. And I had gone to Sephora, actually got a sample of the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and I really, really liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, I don't notice any brightening effects to it, but I did notice that I never needed to touch up my concealer towards the end of the day, and that I had z absolutely zero smudging of mascara. Um, while I was at the outlet store, they carry MAC products, sorry, I should have explained this at the beginning, a CCO 
is an outlet store that carries makeup specific to the companies that um, Estee Lauder owns. So Estee Lauder Clinique, MAC, Bobbi Brown, there's some Origins in there, there's fragrance, and yeah. Okay, so I saw this, MAC Prep and Prime, uh, I think it's the Translucent Finish, Transparent Finishing Powder, and it was $17, and um, it looks, I, you know what, I don't, it, it's just white powder, and it feels in consistency very much like the Laura Mercier powder, very much like the Makeup Forever HD powder. It's just real soft, very, very finely milled. I just take the um, Real Technique setting brush and do it under my eyes, and for 17 bucks, it's lovely. It's, it's just gonna last me forever. So that's that. It's also very travel friendly, it's tiny, tiny. And then, the last thing I picked up at the CCO, I really didn't get much, was they had all those little holiday gift sets of brushes from MAC, and um, I really don't own any, I own one MAC brush, I own the 222, which I like. But I wanted to buy some that I own also in the Sigma version so I could compare if there's any real difference. So this particular set, they're all cute, they have these little sparkly handles. It took me forever to decide which ones to choose from. This one is a 212, this one is a 239, this one is the 217. No, it's not. It's a 175, which is essentially a 217, and it's, see, they're fraying a little bit. Can you see that? And then this one is a, what, one, 168 and a 167. So I can tell you right off the bat, I don't want to go into a whole long review, that Sigma brushes are just worth it because they're way less expensive and as good, if not better quality, in my experience. Okay, that's my little plug for Sigma. Um, this is the container they came in. I will be giving you whoever gets my little giveaway. I'll put this in there and I will try to fill it up with other little goodies for you. So, okay, that was a CCO. I also went to Airy, which is owned by American Eagle, maybe. And um, I was specifically looking for these sweatpants that I mentioned earlier that I like to sleep in. There's a drawstring, they have pockets, and the, um, feet are band the legs are banded so that they don't ride up and they're slim cut and these aren't actually sweatpants they're more like um jersey but it's a, they're actually they're lighter weight which actually works out well because it's starting to warm up here and they were originally i sleep in these i sleep in these and i wear these when i take the kids to school early in the morning they're originally 30 something i'm trying to peel off the stickers 34.95 originally then they're on clearance for 29.99 and then it was buy one get one free and then it was I had a coupon for 15% so anyway I got two of these for 25 bucks or something like that so yay um we went to Old Navy and we went a little crazy totally crazy it was 40% off everything in the store except clearance items so I just stocked up on some basics which I will show you they had um, these tank tops are normally $10 and then they were six and so I got a green one, and I got like a heathery darker gray one, and I got another white one, because everybody needs white, and I got a turquoise one. And I don't know what I'm going to wear these under, but it's always good to have. I got a navy one, and I got kind of an off-white one. Is that it? That's it. So that was fun. I also picked up this scarf that's already tied, so I'll untie it later, and it's um, very soft and gauzy, and um, and this was $14.94, and then it was 40% off of that, and then I picked up this long cardigan, it's sort of a slim cut, and it's just a, like a boyfriend cut, I don't really have anything like this, I think it would be great to throw over t-shirts and stuff, and this was marked down to $14.49, this was not on this was clearance, so there was not an additional discount, but that's pretty darn good. And then, many of you might not know that I am originally from Chicago, and even though I grew up loving the Dallas Cowboys because I loved the cheerleaders when I was little, my heart will always belong to the Chicago Bears, and I saw this, so I had to have that. So as long as they don't play each other, I'm fine. But when they do play each other, I kind of root for the Cowboys because they need a little extra, a little help. And this was on sale for $10.49. Cool. Um, 
We also went to Cavender's, which is a Western store. That's where my husband picked up his Lucchese Ropers. He's a little obsessed with them. And um, I never really thought about going there to buy clothes for myself. I don't see myself as a Western wear kind of girl. But I thought, well, what the heck? I don't want to look at men's shoes, so I'll see what they have in the women's clothing department. And I picked up this item that hands down is the, my favorite thing I got this weekend. Um, and uh, it's a favorite of the dogs as well, so I have to make sure it's hung up high in my closet. It's a faux fur vest. And it just has the collar. And it's I don't even know what kind of pattern you call this. And it does have a button, but... Um, it's so fun here. I'm just going to pet. It was $53 and then it was on sale for more than that. I can't remember what I got it for because we rang it up with a ton of my husband's shoes. So I just feel so totally cool and glamorous in this. Um, it does shed a little bit, but I don't care. I would wear this. Um, I guess I could wear this shirt with it, but I would wear this probably with a long sleeve black t-shirt, just a long sleeve shirt. And there's no hood or anything. I just, I love it. I love it. I love it. We're going to Chicago in a couple of weeks for the weekend. And I need to wear this because I don't know when I'm going to wear it in Texas. I think we're done with the cold weather. It's in the 70s here. It's 75 today, 77 tomorrow. That's crazy. I know. Um, then we went to Seven for All Mankind. And um, many of you know I've also been searching for skinny jeans. I love Target Converse for Target skinny jeans but they don't make those anymore and I've been looking and looking and looking and if you really want to have some low self-esteem go jeans shopping I'm telling you it's horrible and all this time I've been trying on skinny jeans and feeling like a big fat cow then the lovely young man at the seven for all mankind outlet store said no 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 get straight our straight leg jeans are cut slim like you want but they're just a teeny like a quarter inch roomier in the thighs so normal people can breathe and I thought, oh. So um, I got one pair because they are ridiculously expensive, even when they're discounted. But I think a good pair of jeans is worth it. And these are the straight leg, just classic straight leg. And for reference, I wear a 20, I don't even know, 28. I used to be a 27. It's called Welcome to Your Late 30s, Early 40s. And um, this was originally. $198, and I got them for $109. Um, and they're just a darker wash, and they, they're they they're slim enough. What I wanted was that they're slim enough that I can tuck them into my boots, and they don't bunch up on the knee. And so, oh, and the pockets have a little bit of bling, actually. It's kind of fun. And the only thing I have against these jeans, all Seven for All Mankind jeans, I've owned quite a few pairs, they do last a really long time, I will say that, is they are built for supermodels, and I am not 5'8 and up, so I will need to pay to have these hemmed, so that's annoying. And then, while my husband and sons were sitting outside the dressing room waiting for me to try on my jeans, my husband spotted a pair of boots, and he's like, you need to buy these. And he said, do you even care how much they cost? And he said, no. I said, do you even care if they fit? And he said, no, but I did. So I tried them on and here is one of them. And it's such a cool, let me see. Sorry, back up a little. So it looks like that. And if you look up close, it has all these little funky inserts. There's even some holes. And then this is a suede insert, kind of like a taupey gray, um, not inserts, but cutouts, laser cut cutouts I'd say and then some they're fun they're fun 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 and I got these in a seven they were actually the last pair they had and this is the pair I, the size I wear and I couldn't tell you how much these are I never I never looked so and then the last store that we all went to um was Ugg the Ugg store um it's the first retail store of just Ugg products in Texas and I left with I'm wearing them today they're so cozy the I think it's the classic boot in um, the short height and that's that so there it is and they're gray fur inside and um, I learned something I didn't know about Uggs is that they sell the insoles separately so when you're um, I know you're supposed to wear socks but I never do so my feet sweat and it gets all matted down and, and gross eventually but um, 
the sales lady told me that I can just buy the insoles and just slide them right in on top of the old matted stuff and they're good as new. So just something for y'all if you have some nasty old comfy Uggs that you don't want to throw away but you need to do something about the inside, there's your solution. So that was my haul. I feel like I hauled a lot of stuff actually and um, it's, it's kind of, it's fun. It's, sometimes it's overwhelming to go to stores like this. I, I didn't get everything that was on my list. I was also looking for a new quilt and bedspread kind of set for our bedroom and there just wasn't anything there that caught my eye. Um, that's the problem with outlet malls. You really just don't know what's going to be there. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my haul and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.